What is up, man? 25 Gamers. This week's Defensive Scheme of the Week. We're focusing on the 3-4 over uh, out of the 3-4 playbook. And our base play for this is our Sting Pinch Zone. Um, we're going to go over setup. Uh, we have a bunch of setups to go through today. Um, you can really run an entire defensive scheme from this one play. Um, really from two plays. But I'm going to go ahead and recommend you don't do that. I'm going to go ahead and recommend you watch the rest of the week's videos. Um, but I am going to go ahead and give you this Stink Bench stuff. All right, so stink pinch setup number one. Uh, this is how I like to call. I've been calling it like this right now. Just stock, go, and you're gonna get pressure off left edge. Now you're sending six. Obviously, that's not your favorable matchup, and not your usual send five and whatnot. But you are getting to get pressure. Um, you want to, and then um, that's the base setup. Um, and then setup number two, base align. Shift your linebackers, or excuse me, shift your line to the left. Crash your D line out. Deep blue that middle linebacker. This is probably our most common setup. You're going to get, uh, well, you're supposed to get, you're supposed to get left edge pressure um, still, and you're going to get that cover. You're going to get one more guy in coverage, so it gets the, gives you that extra guy uh, to play around with it while still maintaining uh, Stink Pincer's reputation for that nice uh, three, deep, three yellow zones. Here you see the pressure come off the, uh, Warner there and then the block shed. Um, so that's the that's setup number two. Uh, setup number three is our max coverage defense. We like to spread our D-line, uh, purple zone, both the ends, and then um, we like the quarterback spy the DT, deep blue Connor, shade coverage out. That's what we like to do. And uh, these rush angles are really effective for getting upfield at the quarterback. So that's our base zone setup. Our run defense setup is we like the quarterback spy, Cavell Connor. I uh, don't have a run here. I do have inside zone. We'll just show you this against inside zone. But uh, you see the, the idea here, the quarterback spy. And um, you see how good it plays against the run. Zan from Forward Progress Madden did a video on this uh, defense against the run. So please go check him out. Also, if you guys are going to check out one of our defenses, I think we did it. We either did it with the Miami Dolphins or we're going to be doing it like the next couple weeks. The 4 3 overall defense. Zan did a 4 3 overall defensive ebook on that. So some more advanced tips and stuff like that. That can be found at his channel. Uh, so please go check him out uh, for Progress Mad. Okay. Uh, and then the last setup I wanted to show you was uh, Stink Pinch. I like this as a man look. I like to man up my guys on the outside. Like so. And then I'll just make, I'll just set up my left edge pressure setup. Put that deep blue there. And I'll be cool. I'll be cool. And, and you know what? Um, this right here, this setup right here is a possible, a possible problem. Look at those yellow zones drop with them. You know, and then, you know, you got a guy like LeBron Landry, you're saying 90 speed, eh, and, and typically you won't see slot streaks, to be honest, especially if you're running setups one through three. So this is a little mix-up I like to use out of Stink Bench. So uh, there it is, really fast, guys. Uh, real quick, we'll, we'll recover them one more time. Uh, first setup, we just like to call it, and uh, sometimes you'll get a gap pressure. It's really effective. I love it. I love this play stock. This is my favorite play in the game. It has been for the last seven years. Um... Next play I like to look at here, shift the line to the left, crash line out, deep blue him. That's from last year. That was my main setup, and we see we get that pressure off that left edge. Block shed, of course. There is a little, I mean, um, you can get it free uh, if you go ahead and just take Connor and, and sit him over the center. If you do that, you're going to come in free. Okay, and it really, it really will come in free sometimes the other way as well. We're going to go over that in our zone blitz and man blitz combinations. That we'll get to that as well, but for right now, that's the base look. Um, and the base zone, base line, spread line, deep blue Connor, and then um, purple, spy, purple. That's your adjustments on the defensive line. And then you have those really nice rush, ang rush angles from Steam Pinch that are really, really effective for getting up field against the quarterbacks. And then our last setup, our run defense. Um, well, except, excuse me, our second to last setup, our run defense. I like to just um, base a line. And, of course, I'm going to go to every formation except for a single back spread because I might be high right now. Oh, my gosh, ridiculous. But, uh, anyway, 3-4 over stink pitch zone. All you do is quarterback spike of Connor, and uh, you're going to get pretty good run defense, in my opinion. Uh, overall, this formation, I think, provides really good run defense. Uh, as I throw the controller on the ground, Jags, yeah, exactly what I've been wanting to do all day. I've been looking forward to that moment where I got to throw the controller on the ground. Um, and then our last setup, we like to deep blue Connor. Um, Man up both these guys. I'll call a disguise cushion if I feel like I have, I have potential to get hit over top because those yellows will drop, as you see there. 
and then you, you have a guy come off. So that's the idea there. So stink pinch, really simple. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, just call the play. That's all you got to do. Just call the play. Very effective. It's his own blitzing concept, stink pinch. Enjoy it. Tomorrow we'll be looking at our man coverage.